putt. Goddamn, get it done, will ya? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into New York. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how you can save yourself thousands in repairs by diagnosing um, any kind of noises and any kind of squeaking by yourself with ease from home. Now, a lot of people go to a garage and when they hear a squeak or anywhere on their car, I'm worried about what it is, but I'm gonna show you how you can actually find the squeaking noise or any kind of pulling noise for free and easy at home. And everyone has this tool at home. So I'm gonna show you how you can do, do that simple trick just from being at home and everyone has this product in their house. So let's go outside and I'm gonna show you how to find any kind of squeaks or any kind of wind noises on your car for free. So as you guys will see here, now the BMW engine, the reason I use this, this is very well known to have any kind of squeaks, especially from the pulleys on the BMW, because it suffers with oil loss, valve cover leaks, and then they leak onto the pulleys, causing all sorts of squealing and whining and kind of noises. Same with suspension, especially in high heat, as you guys know in the USA, everything dries out, everything's a lot of rubber, a lot of plastic on these cars, so you're gonna expect everything to actually dry out and start causing a squealing noise. So if you look down here, you've got all the pulleys, you've got actually the fan that connects to the water pump. As you guys know, the bearings go bad on these. Now, a lot of you always message me saying you've got a squeal and you don't know what pulley is coming from. So the one simple trick I like to use is this, which as you guys know is WD-40. It's like my best friend when it comes to any kind of um, squeaking or any kind of rubbers or anything like that. So if you've got a squealing noise, say on your pulleys down here, all you would do is just spray the WD-40 on it and you would end up finding exactly what um, pulley is that's actually squealing. It's not hard to do at all. All you can do is just spray it on every single one, which will be the alternator, idler pulley, tensioner, water pump, any of them, and you'll be able to find exactly which pulley it is actually squealing. And this goes the same for your rubber top mounts as well. Now, if you've got any squealing here, you can just spray this in here and it will soften them up and the rubbers around here. Now, as you guys know, a lot of you get the rubber top cap as well. And as you guys know, they've got rubber mounts that sit underneath, which are bolted to these bolts right here, which goes to the strut. Now, as you guys know, you can just spray this with WD-40 to silence any kind of squeaking. This can be used for many different various of things. I've used it on spark plugs and ignition coils as well. When they get a lot of moisture, they dry out. You can use the WD-40 to end up um, spraying them inside the coils and end up spraying it on the spark plug to dry out all the moisture if they get moisture inside the ignition coils. That's another fix you can use for WD-40. You can use WD-40 for many things on the cars, even on your suspension. As you guys know, you've got um, the struts and you've got the boot that goes over them. Your gaiters on your CV axles, they all dry out, they're all rubber and they will dry out. So therefore you can use WD-40 in many different various of things. And like I said to you, you can use it on all your top mounts and you can use it on anything you choose to want to use it on. WD-40 is a very good product. It's something I highly believe in as well, as many of you guys know. And then you can use this to be able to find any kind of squeals and noises. Now I've been using this for years. And when someone comes to me and they've got a squealing noise that they can't diagnose, they can't find out which pulley it is, you just take your WD-40, spray this on the... Um, pulley and you'll be able to find out which one it is that's actually squealing without having to go down there and try and listen or get a stethoscope and pull it on the pulley hoping you're going to be able to hear it and it's not going to be the case this will actually show you the actual calls be careful not to spray it on the belt because obviously you know it's like an oil based substance it will end up probably derailing your belt you have to know how to use it must be smart when using it make sure you use the straw that actually comes with it to spray it onto each pulley at a time to be able to shut up which pulley it is because what it will do is shut up the bearings because it will lubricate the bearings inside the pulley which would then end up stopping in the squealing it's very very simple knowledge if you guys know anything about the cars you would know how to use this and many of you are probably already aware of this okay guys so there you do have it i've just shown you now what wd-40 can actually do it can do a lot more than what a lot of people actually think it could do and it's very very good for cars i always have bottles wd-40 and you can buy it in other brands as well just always make sure to have that around because when you do get a squeak especially on bmw it always comes or a wine it saves you having to wonder what it actually is you can just use that to be able to diagnose and find out what's actually causing actually squeaking and get it replaced immediately so i hope this is gonna have taught you something guys thank you very much for watching this bmw dr dean here and goodbye